Hey guys, and welcome back to The Ring. Now, when we last left off, uh, we found ourselves back in the other side. Uh, the Ring World, if if you will. But we actually went in the other direction um, and backtracked through some of the rooms. But we didn't actually find anything. In fact, all we did is shoot a few enemies, uh, which obviously cost us resource for very little reward. So, we need to find... Oh, okay, Meg. This door might open if I break it. I wonder if it will open with a shot from a powerful weapon. Uh, yeah, probably, Meg. Cool story. I should start by looking for a weapon. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, we only really have these rooms here. So, I guess we're going to start from the top. Uh, we went into the operation room, or the oop room, I guess. Now, there was nothing actually in here, though, was... Oh, and our torch has actually run out. Um, but there's nothing in here. So, unless we've missed something. I do have a guide. Like, I put one out. If I get completely balked, we can just reference that. But, uh... Oh! There is a shotgun. Spinning above... Right. Um, how do we get that though? Ah, uh, okay. I guess having a fully charged torch is more powerful or more useful than you. We stand on it. Right. Okay. We can stand on this. Somehow we yeeted this thing across the bloody room. Can we pull this. No. Alright. Well, that... Make... That makes me feel, like, really freaking stupid. Now, there's no electric around here as well. I wonder if we can actually, like, turn the power on. Kind of get the feeling that we should be able to... Yeah, I... I, I really don't want to waste my torch, because I don't know how many batteries and whatnot that we actually get. And, Whoa, fuck me. She literally yeets that thing, doesn't she? Jesus. And, um... Oh, Christ. Does that mean there's other things that we can push and get? You found the shotgun. Pick it up, yes. With this, I can open the broken door. So we actually get other weapons, which is interesting. I want to try shooting this. But I don't think I should use this until I break that door. Uh... Yeah, let's not waste all of our ammo with it and fork up. Okay, so it holds nine rounds. Oh, and it takes up two slots, though. Ah. That's interesting. All right. So we now have a shotgun. Nice. Now, the enemies aren't exactly what I would call tough anyway, to be honest. Whether they're going to get stronger, I don't know. I'm guessing they will eventually. Which was the broken door? Uh, was it that one? Yeah, if I shoot it with something powerful. Yeah, I'm a bit concerned about using all my battery power up. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. That was a Benelli. M3 Super 90. Uh, very efficient and compact shotgun. All right, easy to use, yet versatile. Cool, we actually got a bit of information about that. Now, is it going to be a satisfying weapon to use? It's broken. Now I can go in. Uh, okay. That was not very satisfying at all. I mean, the shotgun was okay, but the breaking of the door was rather pathetic, if I'm being honest. Hey, sir. Let's see how you like my Benelli. Oh, God. Really? Benelli is not that good against you, or it didn't seem to be that good. It was a two shot. Uh, we don't have any more bullets, so, well, more cartridges, so let's go back to the nine. <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, uh mm, mm. I want to like, I want to like it. I do. I really want to like it. But, 
just keep our torch on. I suppose we don't need to be really careful with our torch until we've only got one battery left. In which case, we're destination fucked anyway. Ooh. Found the lab member card level two. Pick up. Cool. Okay, so we have a new key. Uh oh. Yeah, fuck that guy. Hopefully we can just find some things in here. Actually, can we turn this off? So he confuses us. Oh, also, I've managed to get um Okay, I don't know why she was doing that. Really? Can we not open this one? Yeah, I managed to get Fatal Frame uh, 2 and 4 for the Wii. Um, so, we're going to be taking a look at those at some point. Oh, he's just standing there. He's just like jerking off on the floor. Weird. <coughs> right, not sure why we can't get into this one though. So if we turn our torch off, he can't see us. Which is groovy. Why can't we open this? That's so weird. Like, we've been able to open all of these other um, curtain cubicle things, but we suddenly come up to this one and we can't open it, and it doesn't give us any explanation. Like, it doesn't say it's barricaded, or we need a key, or something. But, <coughs> hey ho, diddly dee. Let's go. I'm guessing key to the door up here. We save. Let's go save it actually. Just in case anything goes really badly wrong. I'm guessing. I'm guessing now I've got serious acid reflux. I don't know why. Oh, God. Uh, I'm guessing that we're going to start fighting stronger enemies now. Uh, you know, considering we have a shotgun. But we shall see, I guess. Come on, Meg. Open the radio, Meg. Use the radio, Meg. I don't know who we're, like, contacting. I don't really go that far into detail with it. I mean, the radio doesn't really make sense. I mean, think about it. The notepads in uh, Silent Hill... Right? And it made sense, you know? You're writing down your your adventures and whatnot. Right? The camera in the uh, original Fatal Frame made sense. You're taking like a snapshot of yourself. You know, in a, in a very eerie way that kind of made sense to me. Um, in Resident Evil, you use a typewriter to write down everything you've done so far makes sense. But a radio? Who are we... Oh, it doesn't open. Alright. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Do we... Uh... Lab member card level two. Card key used only by ranking lab members. Detailed information on selected item. Looks like detailed information though, is it? Game. Um. So, right. Doesn't open. Okay. Ah, wait. In the actual uh, reality, Place. In the real world, we used this key card to go downstairs, didn't we? So, is that going to open? Open that, I guess. I mean, that's the only other locked door we have, so... <laughs> I mean, it kind of has to open that area if you think about it. Otherwise, well, we're screwed. If it doesn't, um... If it doesn't, then we're going to have to, uh... Oh, wrong button, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's back into the save room. All right. 
If it doesn't, we're going to have to take a look at the guide. What's interesting, the guide that I've got, because it's awfully translated, uh, a lot of the characters' names are different, and... Ooh. I wonder if I just swipe the card here. Yeah, you... That Meg. It opened. And if there's nothing in this room, all of my work is for naught. Well, has to be something in this room, Meg. Uh, there has to be stairs going down. Yes. Uh, wh where's the door? There it is. Oh, maybe there's stairs going up. Okay. Alright. Uh, it is a very dark game, though. Holy... Oh, hello. Really? Really? Well, that's cheese and biscuits. Let's just stick a fucking enemy right in front of our face so we don't actually even possibly have time to react to it. Yeah, that's a cool game. Yeah, no worries, man. What a load of steaming rectum. Alright, anyway, let's go through the door. I guess we could probably go upstairs as well. Oh, we've got like liquors or something up here. Uh, do we want to try... Hang on, let's go back in here and see if we actually can go upstairs any further. Or if it's going to be like, this door's locked. And why is there... Okay, there's blood on the floor. Okay, so we can go up the stairs. At least there's no enemy. Oh, God. No good. No open. All right. There's a lot of stairs we can go up here, guys. Right, okay. Pop. Grab the healing jelly. Nice. In fact, actually, I suppose. Smoke it if you got it, right? Uh, healing jelly plus. Oh, right. Um, well, that's the good stuff. Let's just drink that. Takes us up to fine. Okay. I don't know if that's a waste. I don't know how many levels there is to the health. So, all right. So yeah, we only have one one option. That's good. I like only having one option, especially in a game like this where it's just really not that fun to explore. Um. Right. Wait. Yeah, our torch is already dimming, and see how sparingly we've used it. Great stuff. Right, we know there's a gribbler. Ah. Gribbler there. Right. Can we check the map? Do we actually have a map? We did pick a map up, but... No. No, we don't have a map here, but that's fine. We can just explore, I guess. Keep that shotgun handy, I suppose. Then, you know, the, the like, the handgun's alright. It, you know, it does the job, I guess. Handgun rounds. How many have we got? Lots. <laughs> yeah, 119. Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yep. Mm -hmm. That'll do it. Doesn't open. Sealed off. Good. <laughs> open. Sealed off. Good. Right, is that gribbly motherfucker? I'm guessing because that dickhead's there. That's where we have to go. That would be logical. No. Wow, do any of these doors open? Eh, I guess some of them do. <laughs> I'd say that'd be a bit weird if they didn't, but hey, I don't make the rules. Oh, this is the power room. Uh, okay. There's no way. No way that nothing's here. Ooh, shot velocity. What's that? Hey, shotgun bullets. Does that mean they're slugs or is that just terribly translated? I see the camera angles are exactly the same here. Uh, there is a keyhole. Control this. I need a key. Of course you do. 
Of course you need a key. Didn't want that to be too easy now, did we? Like anything in here? Apart from the shotgun shells. Speaking of which, how many do we get in a pack? Twelve. Okay. Hmm. Bit odd, considering the gun holds like nine. But okay. Who are we to question? Doesn't look like there's any. Oh, there's a map. Definitely take the map. Right, now we're cooking with gas. Alright, looks like a sweet FA all in here. Let's go. So we've got a map, which is nice. This does look like we're just in the facility, though. It's strange, but hey, don't question it. Shut up. Oh, what the fuck? Um. Okay. So enemies can just charge you out of nowhere. Yeah, cool stuff, game. That was cheap. Wait, did he come from... I don't even know where he came from, to be honest. I think he came from behind me. And then, like, patted me on the back. But again, notice how he got a free hit on me. So that was the power room that we've just been in. We've got a lot of rooms, potentially, to uh, examine here. Alright, let's go into the box. Let's go check out the shitters, shall we? Right. Tempted to load up the shotgun, but I don't want to waste it. Oh, is this a save room? Keep that gun handy. Oh, what did I say? Keep that gun handy. Really? God damn it. Look, stun locked. God, that's such horse shit. Right. Small battery. I mean, that's something. I mean, come on, man. Like, the enemies literally get three hits on you. I don't mean three. I mean three hits. Like, here we are. Not only that, but they stun lock you as well. Like, I don't mind a game being hard. But when it's just bullshit, that's different. Okay. I mean, they potentially could have made something out of this, but... Like, if if you didn't... Oh, seriously. If you didn't tell me this was a ring game, I wouldn't know, to be honest. Can we just load up the shotgun before we open any of these? But here's the thing. Shotgun seems to take two... Well, no, hang on. It took two blasts to kill a red one. These guys are just normal. I think. They're like... Oh. Oh, that looks like shotgun shells. Alright. Well, yeah, I mean, sure. We'll take the shotgun shells. What do I look like? An idiot? Don't answer that. All right, come on, Meg. Oh, wonder if it'll open if I shoot it with a powerful weapon. Toilets. Is this weapon the wrong one? Really? Well, if a shotgun at point blank isn't strong enough to blast open a lock, you're probably gonna struggle to find something powerful enough. I mean, the sheer kinetic energy out of that thing at point blank. Oof. Yeah. Um, hmm. I bet it's going to be like a magnum because magnums are more powerful, right? Because game logic. Uh, even though you can get magnum shells, there's some going. On. Okay, let's go. This game doesn't deserve us getting that deep into it. Deep. <laughs> oh dear. Right, what's in here? Oh, we can go in here. Yeah, 
Yeah, it looks like our torch is definitely losing power. Which is sucky. Nothing? Why? Why can we search all of this stuff that has nothing in it? It doesn't make a lot of brain. Ooh. Okay, we can save the game here. You know what? We will save the game here. I know where we are now. We're in that room um, we met our friend in, aren't we? I can't remember her name because we did all that yesterday. And the characters' names are just... They're too... Um, too generic for me to remember their names. I did write some of them down before I realised that we don't need to do that. Okay. I know we've got Jack, who's our friend on the blower. Robert's our dead uh, boyfriend. We're Meg. There's a woman called Kathy. There's dead cat lady. Is it Kathy? Is this Kathy's room? Because she shouted at us for going near her desk. Yay! An empty drawer. Cool. I like empty drawers. <sighs> right. There really is just like a lack of anything. Isn't there? It's really strange. I mean, I always thought like the fun of these, this, this style of game is when you're exploring all of these rooms, collecting items and, you know, files and that kind of stuff. But in this one, there just, there just isn't anything. All right. I mean, the map is competent. I'm not going to, I'm not actually going to knock the map because the map is pretty damn solid. I just wish it had a dedicated button. You didn't have to go through the slow loading, like fucking menu wall. Ooh. Hey, sir. Bit chilly out tonight, isn't it? Not going to fill his ass with buckshot if you don't have to. Oh. Hello, Wesker. Brigade mem oh, don't surprise me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. You know there's like a big ugly bastard outside? Just saying. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Anyway, why are you just standing there? Because I just opened the fucking door and walked in. Help me out. Help. If it's anything that I can do. Doesn't matter if you can or can't. If we don't make it in time... We we both die? Alright. Uh, we die if we don't make it. Yeah, if you just said that, what in the world is going on? The gas spray will start in 10 minutes. Uh, we can't stop the spray unless we restore power. 15 minutes at the most. If we don't do something, we'll all die before before the virus. Gas spray? Why Why is such a thing? My thoughts exactly, Meg. Why? Why is that such a thing? It was a plan to get rid of them, but a huge monkey, huge, they are actually just monkeys, right, um, sure. But a huge monkey appeared and ran off with the power key for the electrical room. Uh, if they did it knowing what would happen, it means they're pretty intelligent. I'm appalled. We're going to die from gas made to defeat enemies? Then I need to find a huge monkey with a key. Oh man, this is this is some fucking oh, top tier gaming. This is. I know, Meg. It's as ridiculous as it sounds. And then I need to find a huge monkey with a key and restore power in the electrical room. You're rather calm, you know. You're pretty amazing. <laughs> Thanks. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's it. Hurry, find the monkey and restore power. I know I'm repetitive. You bloody right, you are. Uh, but we can't last more than 15 minutes. And the code to restore power is 1951. Yeah. Got it. Turn the power. E, then 1951. Sheesh, this game really makes me work. I know, I'm exhausted. You say something. No, nothing. I don't want to die. So I'll find the monkey within 15 minutes. I'll take it you'll look as well. Of course, though I'm counting on you. Yeah, I'm sure you will look. Oh god, we've got a timer and everything. Right, okay, so, I mean, we've got that monkey boy there, but I'm guessing, ooh, I'm guessing he don't want none of this. Ooh, shotgun shells, cool. Right. Uh, sealed off, cool. I'm guessing then, oh, fuck you, dude. 
I was actually going to let you live. Well, I mean, I think you're going to kill me now. Yeah, you're probably going to kill me because I can't actually do anything. And the shotgun is like AIDS. Holy crap. i got to keep remembering. Don't keep pumping the shotgun. Don't keep unloading it. Because enemies have invincibility frames, damn it. You've got to shoot, wait for them to recoil, then shoot them again. Doesn't open up. Right. Okay. Right, we can't go in there because we need a powerful weapon. Something's making a gribbly noise. Oh, right. Probably him down that hallway. In fact, because he's down that hallway, let's switch up to the, the handgun. Does that mean we get even more weapons then? I mean, what else could we possibly get in this game? It doesn't... I don't get the feeling that we're going to be running around with grenade launchers and, and fucking Gatling guns and things. Oh, God. He is very far away. Eh! Man! Really, we need to be, like, within range, even though we can clearly see him standing there. What about if we turn the light on? Okay, we hit him. Really? Come on, Meg. You can do it, Meg. I believe in you. Really? Uh, he's, like, teleporting to me. He's literally teleporting to me. Why? What the fuck was that? He just appeared from the ceiling. His legs were actually hanging through the ceiling? They've, they're not even trying. They're not even trying anymore. They've given up. They're like, nah, fuck this. This game's weak source. So our health is now bad. Right. I don't want my health to be bad, so I'm going to drink some life juice. Oh, fuck my ass and call me Charlie. Right, come on, Meg. I guess this is the room the big monkey was in. What are they? Oh, God. All right. Oh, this is the cafeteria. Oh, God. He knows I'm here. He literally knows I'm here. So that whole bollocks about using the torch. Otherwise, they'll find you. They seem to just find you anyway. All right. So let's get, grab these bullets. The bullets. The bullets right in front of us. We cannot get any closer to the bullets if we wanted to, Meg. Meg, reach out and touch the... How do we get the bullets? Are the bullets an illusion? Are they not actually there? Wouldn't be surprised. Can we not just... Can we just straight up not pick them up for reasons? Uh... I don't. I was going to say, do we have too many? I don't think we do, because... Hang on, why can't we pick the bullets up? Right, now we can. Okay, we just had to be in the... Exactly the correct pixel. Oh, right, okay. Yep, there we go. Really, dude? They just... Teleport across the fucking room. Oh, man. What a special... Alright, I guess we can't go that way. What a specialist. I mean, of course they teleport across the fucking floor. What do you expect? Animations? Come on. I know there's an item here. Thank you. Jelly Plus. We're probably going to need that if we've got to fight a big monkey. Well, who would have thought we'd be taking out King Kong? Okay, I'm confused. Is that the door? That's not the door we came in, is it? Is that the door King Kong went through? Ah. Oh, right. Wasn't that... Yeah. This door locked? I don't know, man. We go through here? 
No, it doesn't open. Why would it open? Okay, so there's nothing in here. This was a complete waste of time. Really thought a giant monkey would be in this room. Guess not. I actually cannot believe that that was not the right room. Okay, so... Kitchen? Can we go in the kitchen? Nope. Oh, God. Alright, we're on a bit of a timer here. Not allowed in there. What's this one? We've been in here before. Oh, this must be the electrical room. Yeah, we know that. No monkey in the electrical room, is there? That would have been... Oh, no. Thought that was an item there, but that's just the electrical panel lit up, isn't it? All right, uh, fine. Fine game. Keep your secrets, then. Because we're out of time. Okay. Oh, God, guys. What a load of infected anus. <laughs> I mean... I mean, I am having a bit of a laugh with it. I'm not going to lie. But... I mean, the game literally is not taking itself seriously at all, is it? We have to go find a giant monkey. Because it's taken an electrical key that we need to start the generator. And if we don't start the generator, we're going to get gassed by poison gas that these brigade idi idiots have set up. To poison the enemies. In a game. Based on the ring. Yeah I don't get it either. Alright. Anyway guys. Thanks for watching. Till next time.